Hello and welcome. What we're going to do today in this video is take you through some lower body stretches, that's legs and the kind of lower area of your core as well. The majority of these stretches are going to be done in a laying or low type position. So if you wanted to, you can do them on a carpet like myself. If you've got a mat, then you might want to put that down on top. You could even do most of these, not all of them, but most of them on a bed. So if you are in one of our hospital settings, then by all means, give them a go as well. The stretches that I take you through will have that static element to it where you hold the muscle in position to stretch it followed by a bit of a dynamic element to the stretch too. So let's get started. So next one we're gonna go into um, is for your adductors, that's on the inside of your thighs. This one doesn't have a dynamic element, we're just going with the, the static stretch, okay? So for this, you're back on all fours, hands underneath shoulders, hips over the top of knees. And all you're gonna do is take one leg out to the side we're aiming for a stretch on the inner thigh here. Now there's a couple of ways you can get that stretch um, a little bit deeper if you don't feel it just by popping your leg out to the side. So you can either sit back a little bit and you might start to feel that stretch there or you can open up the knees a little bit further out as if you're kind of doing the splits a little bit further. Okay, but again always just that controlled, comfortable stretch, nothing painful. Okay, and we're holding in that position. And then we just bring that leg on the inside and we switch over to the other side. So again, you might already feel it here. You might want to sit back a bit. You might want to open up the knees a little bit further. Okay, just holding that comfortable stretch and balancing out on each side. Good stuff. So from there, last one for the legs is the top of the legs. You've got your glute muscles in your bottom. So we're going to do a figure four stretch. So we're back onto sitting on our bottom, knees bent in front of us and slowly lower down onto your back. You take one ankle and cross it over the opposite knee. So again, you may already get a stretch feeling in this position. If you don't, then just slowly raise the other foot off the floor and you should feel the stretch in your glute muscle. Okay, and that's in the, in the back um, of your bottom, basically. Okay, if you wanted to, you could support behind the thigh just to keep it up because it can be quite tiring just to hold it there with the with the muscles in your leg in the first instance okay so just holding that position and then slowly lower the leg off and swap it over so ankle on top of the knee again if you feel that stretch there fine if not slowly raise up the other leg to support it if you need to so it's this area here that you should be feeling that stretching okay sometimes it can take a little while couple of times of doing these stretches to kind of figure out where the right place is but so long as you're keeping it safe so long as you're keeping it comfortable then that's fine okay so from here our dynamic version is going to be alternating um, knee hugs so legs go straight and all you're going to do is bring one knee in towards the chest and then push it back out again so just a little squeeze in and out again nice and controlled still okay Nothing too rushed, don't pull it too hard. If you only get it to there and that's where the stretch builds and that's where you stop. If you can get it all the way into your chest, great. So a couple more. And you can extend these if you want, even though we're finishing our reps there. If you wanted to pause this and carry on for a little bit doing that, if you, if you find it feels really nice to do that, then carry on doing that. Okay, so that's the majority of our legs done there. What we're going to do now is switch a bit more to the kind of lower core area. So the first thing we're going to do is something called a cobra. If anyone's done yoga, you might know this move. So moving onto your tummy for this, legs straight out behind you. And all you're going to do is just rest on those elbows. So keeping them underneath your shoulders, in line with your shoulders, just pushing up, head up. So you get a little bit of stretch through the abdominals at the front. You can brace your core here contract your glute muscles so they're in your bottom just to kind of stabilize your back and hold this position and then we're going to move into a different stretch for our lower back and then we'll twin those two together for our dynamic element so from this position you're going to bring yourself up into all fours so you can shuffle your legs forwards a little bit if you need to and you're just going to sit back on your heels and drop your head and your shoulders down so you'll feel this nicely stretched through your lower back 
a little bit through the front of your shoulders and your pectoral muscle area. A really good one just to relax that back there. And then for our dynamic side of it, you're going to be switching between the two. So you're going to do this carefully, but it, rather than holding a long stretch like we just did, just a couple of se seconds in one, move to the other. So we're back to our cobra position. One and two, then carefully move in and sit back. Child's pose. Back to cobra. Adjust your legs and your arms if you want to. Back into child's pose. So carefully moving between the two. Last one, one more child's pose. Good stuff. Okay, last one we're going to do is a nice full body, full length stretch, just to stretch it all the way up. So from this position, again, slowly lower yourself down, arms go above your head this time, point those toes out, reach those fingers back. You might want to spread your hands out as well. Spread those fingers, really stretch for the entire body. Hold that position, nice stable core, nice long body line. And then our dynamic element is going to be double knee tucks. So we had single knee tucks earlier on, and if you prefer to do those, you can go back to doing them. So your single knee one with one at a time, like this, and just back into our laying position. But our double knee tuck that we're aiming for is two knees in, and then go back to our long body line. Okay, so it's completely up to you. You can go double knee like I am here, or you can go single knee like you were doing earlier on. Okay, the main thing is just to get that reach out into that long line after each repetition. One more, and nice and long, and then slowly bring yourself back up. And there we go, that is our lower body stretch. We've got an upper body stretch video as well, so if you wanted to twin the two together and get a full all over stretch, then you can do, or you might just wanna mix it up in the week to wake up different areas of your body. Lower body on one day, upper body on, the, on another day, it's completely up to you. Or you might just wanna stick with one or the other, whatever you feel like. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Catch you next time.